Pink and the Freaky Frog Freakout by Megan McDonald, illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Judy Moody's younger brother, Stink, has been finding frogs all over the place, at the pool, in his boot, even in the bathtub. When Stink and his friends visit a nature center to learn about frogs, they find out about the first annual frog lake, lake frog count. Before he can participate in the late night adventure though, Stink has to study different frogs and the sounds they make and pass a quiz. Preep, croak, squawk, Stink listened to frog calls on the computer. He listened to frog sounds that he taped with his own tape recorder by sticking it out the window at night. Stink listened to frog calls on the way to school Monday morning and in the car on the way to swim lessons. Pre, crock, squank. At swim practice, he tried some out on his friends. You sound like a duck, said Webster. You sound like a squeak toy, said Sophie. You sound like a sick banjo, said Riley. Thanks, said Stink. See, spring peepers sound like a squeak, like squeak toys, and wood frogs sound like ducks quacking. You're quacked, said Webster. Sophie and Riley cracked up. You guys sound like southern leopard frogs. A leopard frog sounds like a person laughing. No lie. Yeah, but nothing sounds like a sick banjo, said Riley. Nothing except for the northern green frog. It sounds like a loose banjo string. You know, like a rubber band twang. You sure are freaky for frogs, said Riley. Thanks, said Stink. You should marry a frog. You like them so much. Hardy har har, said Stink. Stink could not wait till swimming was over. He had a great idea for how to learn frog sounds. He would need a comb, a balloon, two rocks, a can of spray paint, a rubber band, a rubber duck, some jingle bells, and that's all. Stink blew up the balloon and rubbed it with his hand. He clicked rocks together. He twanged a rubber band. Judy poked her head into Stink's room. Mouse, the family cat, squeezed past her. Stink, I'm trying to study my times tables and I can't hear myself. She stopped when she saw the pile of junk on Stink's floor. What? I'm using this stuff to make frog sounds. Here, I'll show you. Stink, ru Stink rubbed his finger along the teeth of the comb. This sounds like a chorus frog. Stink shook the can of spray paint, and this sounds like a northern cricket frog. Mouse darted under the bed, and this arg sounds like mom when she sees the mess in your room, said Judy. Hardy har har, chuckled Stink. You're croaking me up. Can you please shut your door so I don't have to hear Froggle Rock, Fraggle, Froggle Rock all day? Stink squeaked his rubber duck down the stairs. He snored up a storm while he made a snack. He shook the can of, spray, of, ki, of paint, clicked the stones, and jingled the bells. Wood frog, pickerel frog, cricket frog, he recited. Stink, keep it down, please, said Dad, poking his head around the corner. I'm on the phone. No spray painting in the house, said Mom. Take that outside. I'm not painting, said Stink. Doesn't anybody around here know a northern cricket frog when they hear one? Mom crinkled her forehead. It's homework, said Stink. I have to take a test. A frog test, said Judy, coming into the kitchen. I have to learn frog calls, said Stink, for the first annual Frog Neck Lake Frog Count on Friday. Right, said Mom. It's a real thing. The test is on the computer, Stink told her. You click on a frog and it makes a sound. Then you guess which frog is making that sound. Multiple choice, said Judy. Easy peasy, she teased. I have a multiple choice for you, said Mom. You can go back upstairs and A, finish your homework. B, finish your homework. C, finish your homework. Or D, all of the above. But, Stink protested, it's your choice, Mom said. 
Stink trudged back up the stairs with Judy close behind. And don't forget your non-frog homework, too, Mom called. In Stink's room, Mouse curled up on his backpack. How am I going to learn all these frog calls by Tuesday? Stink asked Judy. He held out his notebook for her to see. You can't go on the frog count unless you pass the quiz. I'll help you, said Judy. But let's make it a game. Instead of rock, paper, scissors, we'll call it rock balloon squeak toy. How can we play? Close your eyes. I'll make a sound. You guess which frog it is. But we have to keep it down because mom won't like us doing frog homework first. Okay, come on, said Stink. He squeezed his eyes shut. Judy rubbed the balloon. She twanged the rubber band. She clicked the stones. Meow! Mouse pawed at the stones. Chorus frog, wood frog, cricket frog, Stink guessed. Judy checked Stink's notebook. Sorry, leopard frog, green frog, cricket frog. Stink hung his head. Hey, you got one right. Cricket frog, come on, Stink. Just get super duper quiet and really listen. Okay, ready? Ready, Freddy, said Stink. Judy rubbed, clicked, squeaked, and twanged. Balloon, stones, squeak toy, rubber band, Stink said. That's leopard frog, cricket frog, spring peeper, green frog. Bingo, said Judy. She laughed, chuckled, whistled, peeped, snored, squeaked, jingled, and croaked until Stink knew pickerel frog from peeper, chorus frog from cricket. Yikes, said Judy, putting her shh finger to her lips. I bet they can hear us all the way at the end of Croker Road. Do you think they call our street Croker Road because of all the frogs? Because of animal frogs, Stink, not human boy frogs. Ribbit, Stink croaked. Okay, close your eyes. I bet I can stump you. Ready? Judy made a zzzz sound. Bullfrog. No, woodfrog. No, bullfrog. He opened his eyes. Zipper frog, said Judy. That was just me, zipping the zipper on your backpack. No fair, said Stink. There's no such thing as a zipper frog. Wow! Mouse pounced on the jingle bells. Jingle frog, Stink and Judy said at the same time. They cracked themselves up. We got to finish our not frog homework, Stink. Besides, you're like the frog king now. No, you're like president of the frogs. Now you just have to practice on real frogs. Squank, said Stink. On Tuesday, Stink Moody, frog genius, passed his test with flying colors. Frog test, that is. Stink could not wait for Frog Friday.